Misha, try to get in. That is. Jesus. We should. Yeah. Here it is. Any instruction, guys? G -A -J. Yeah, I know. His. Why can't I get to my waiting room? See, waiting room. There we go. Okay. There we go. What's happening? What's up, what's up, guys? What's up? Sorry. That's okay, man. Kwamisha's with us today. Hello. Hello. Um, who was it? That sweet truck? What you eating, girl? A little Philly steak, I mean. Where you, what you eating today? You always eating in the meetings. I'm getting ready to go get me a rib in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, like, he like them ribs. Uh, sound like she don't watch the videos. Or you do. <laughs> hey, Gerald, uh, did you talk to Dana today? Yeah, I was on with Dana for about 45 minutes. Okay, yeah, she had called me and uh, he got I could, on with and he was I, like, yeah, you might I could, want to call Gerald. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I that. couldn't help her. Yeah, I, I told you to with the think or swim, uh, Ace, to give you a call, but uh, we were looking uh, for what she was looking for. I couldn't find it on there, and so I told hey, you Gerald. to give you a call. Yeah, hey, yeah. you want to hear something funny? You know what I they were doing? To the TDA lady today. Look, she showed me how to split the screens, bro. Yeah, it's pretty simple, ain't it? Very simple. <laughs> Just right up there in the top. I'm going to show that today. Yeah. Delos is going to be driving. So, mm. so, you, so were you, were you able to help, help Dana? Were you able to help Dana find that for her? Yeah. Yeah, OK. Yeah, what she, was she looking for? Turn that thing on. She was looking for the premiums or something in a balance sheet or account summary or something, or premiums or something. Yeah. Basically, oh. you know, like like we all had to figure out, it's not called premium. First and foremost, we call it premium, but that's that's not how they that's not how they itemize it on our sheets. Mm -hmm. So it's called cost. It's called trade price. Mm -hmm. It's called everything but premium. Okay. Oh no, the lady, the lady, the lady from TD Ameritrade, she called it premiums. No, I'm not saying it's not called premium. It's it's called premium. I'm just saying when you're looking at it on that T on that trade, or if you oh, look at it on your okay. mobile, yeah, you're not gonna find the word premium up there. Oh no. Yeah, we looked that's at trade tr trade price and we saw some other stuff on there. Yeah. The trade price is what that's what you that's what you get it at. Yeah. You mm -hmm. froze it up. Say it again. Say the trade price. That's your. That's what. That's what they paid you. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. But she. She, she was looking for the word premium. Uh, okay. Oh. Yeah. She was having problems. Yeah. But um, I said, so Dana, how you doing? She said, me and Keith, we've been trading. Mm -hmm. so I said, well, let's walk through it. I said, let's walk through it. What you got? She said, I got RCL. I said, okay, I got RCL. Mm -hmm. Let me pull it up. And uh, hey, I got a question. Hey, somebody said that Roku, Roku uh, earnings report messed them up. Yeah, that that was me, man. So the I, stock went the stock went up. So what 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 happened? I saw that too. Did it went down? Didn't it? It said one twenty four now, I believe. Yeah, it oh, went up after market. It went down. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, because what I did, I uh, you know I jumped out of Wayfair. Tuesday, rolled out of that and bought Roku, 
it was 133 a share at the time, and I got a 112 strike and picked up $300. But I rolled out today, the price was kept going up. It was at 137, and I rolled out today. It cost me $75 to roll out, but I, I was still up $225. Okay. So, so I rolled out, paid the $75, but I jumped back in, and uh, I got a closer strike at 125 and picked up another $340 premium. But I like to say, I didn't know about earnings. If I knew about earnings, I would have left it where it was at or stayed out or something. So it looks like I'm, I, you know, it depends on what it does tomorrow. I may be assigned those. Uh, those it's going to go back up tomorrow. Yeah. So. You see my screen? You know, I'm at, I got a strike point at uh, uh, 117 on Roku. Yep. Yeah, we can. Okay. Yeah, 117, yeah. Hey, Dennis, no? No, nah, not yet. No, we're waiting on Dennis. How far y'all at, um, Delos? How far y'all been rolling? Uh, uh, we so putting that ear up. We had it till, <laughs> <had it> till <laughs> late. <laughs> So, um, so you know, Tony and, and Chuck, we hadn't we hadn't done anything with the with the call side yet on that BA. Yeah, I know you said that you was thinking about putting them on tomorrow, maybe. Yeah, yeah I had a strategy and I was thinking about it, and I hadn't even run it by Delos today. And and Delos was talking, and he said, "June." So what you could do is just wait around the last 45 minutes or so before the um, market closes tomorrow and run up there closer to the strike point about five away and, and grab you about $300. I said, man, that's exactly what I'm doing, but I wanted to know if it was legal. I was thinking about doing it, but I wanted to know if it was So there go uh, Dennis. You wanted to know if it was what, Gerald? I was like, man, it, that just feels that just feels like a little sketchy. Is that okay to do? Yeah, get some, get some, and then it, it Boeing, and then just bag out, or just let it expire. No. Can y'all hear me? Okay, I think my internet a little laggy. It's going, yeah, it's lagging. All right, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move in the front front room. Uh. So I was saying, I was saying that I have not done anything on the car side, and I'll probably because because the market's been so down with Boeing, I'll probably just wait until tomorrow. And my strike point is at one forty. Okay, so the strategy the strategy would be to um, let the market get close to closing tomorrow. Friday, four o'clock Eastern time, and around three thirty or so, go put a bid somewhere around five, four or five away from the strike point, whatever's trading that bid, uh -huh. and then just let it expire on me, <laughs> not being executed. That's a good deal. Not being executed, and grab me a real healthy premium. Yeah. See, yeah, I put my Boeing on the call side Monday, and I only got 150. I, I got 142. My my strike was 140 also, and uh, I think I got 150 dollars on Monday. Yeah, you you can just keep doing that. Yeah. I mean, until it until it come back. Boeing Boeing was coming back today. It was at 130. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Oh, did it even did it make it to 130? Yeah, yeah. it was yeah. it was over 130. Yeah, it got back over, yeah, to 130, yeah. Wow. Cool. Well, I think I'm going to hold off to late, to about 30 minutes before the market closes. <laughs> 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 it ain't going to change $5 in no 30 minutes. <laughs> uh, right. It ain't yeah. changing $5 in 30 minutes. I'm gonna... That's right, man. And you can report back to us and let us know how they went. <laughs> Hey Delos, do people do that? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know what the premium is gonna be, but.
But uh, I'm going to look at it when I stop and see where it's at right now. Or oh, one of y'all can look right quick, see where BA trading at. It's 129.40 right now. So what's the uh what's the, the 133, 134 strike price yeah. uh premium price? On the call? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. let's see. Let's see. <laughs> uh 130 is at 150, 133 is at 0.53. Ain't no money. Yeah. No, Chuck, we're talking about for the 15th, big dog. Uh, oh, the 15th, okay, you talking uh, about running. Oh, for the yeah. 15th, yeah. Yeah, we're talking about for the 15th. Well, then your contract won't expire worth it. Until next, yeah, you got to wait till next Friday. What are you talking about? No. Yeah, yeah. Jay, I thought you were talking about the 8th, bro. Yeah, I thought so, too. Yeah. Oh, okay, no. I was talking about, initially I was talking about the 8th, but then I was like, I changed my parameters and was like, why not do it for the 15th? So well, you, you might, know. well, you might, well, you might as well go for the gusto. You might as well do that tomorrow early. You ain't got to wait till the end of the day for that. Right, right. Yeah. And just put it just put it at a 141, man, and, and collect whatever they got sitting there. Yeah. It's it's, it's best to go before the time decay run out. Right. Would that, would that be considered time decay? Mm -mm. Yeah. When you wait, when you wait till Monday, the numbers ain't going to be the same. Mm -hmm. Correct. That's so time wanna, decay. If you want to do the fifteenth? Go on and grab. Matter of fact, try to try to get you another five. See what see next week. See what one forty three trade net. Because if if, if uh, Boeing go back up to one hundred and thirty two, one hundred and thirty three, then the premium gonna go up. So what you can do tomorrow is, um, uh, wait wait and see if Boeing go up any any, and then if Boeing go up, it's gonna change next week's numbers too. Yeah. Cause right right now one forty three for next week is at one hundred and thirty dollars. I take that every day of the week. Mm -hmm. Cause, cause then, when it, then when you see it starting to roll up to you, what you do is before it get up on you, you roll out of it and roll back. Hold on, let me make sure this recording because I want to. Cause you you gonna get all that appreciation for right you, G. Yeah, is it recording? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can't you can't look at the one thirty like one thirty. You gotta look at the one thirty like four thirty, because if you set it if you bought it at forty and you set it at forty three, you gonna get three hundred dollars in appreciation plus appreciation. the one thirties. Yeah. Yeah, I got that. So, so the play would be the play would be to move early. Why would I? Yeah. No, wait. No, the play would be wait wait to wait to see if Boeing go up past thirty dollars tomorrow. Right, right. Okay. And then if it do that, then you can grab that 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 uh, premium at one thirty. Gonna probably be two thirty or three thirty. Yeah, I could just put it in here right now and take a look. I'm tripping. Hey, G, I would I would definitely set an alert, man, for that. Yeah. That way you don't story? miss it. Mm hmm Yeah. How do you move this thing? What you looking for? This, this bar, I'm on the move to the bar. I'm trying what, to. Which bar, G? Oh, I got it, Chuck. Don't worry about it. It's a bar that's in the middle. So, okay. Um, well, y'all see Delos is driving. We were just talking about going over some of the things and some of the questions that we may have. But initially, I just want to show you all a little bit more about what, what I've been discovering on this um, distinctive film platform. And the thing about it is, you know, I'll, I'll, obviously all of us have been playing around with it. So um, if you want to lead and direct me up to something, a little trick or a tip or trick that you all have found, obviously jump in here and go right ahead. Last time I, re I, I remember that I didn't show you guys, I didn't show you uh, how to, how to move the uh, the screen right here. After we talked about this little gear sprocket down here, um, X and L, and then if you want to add something, all of these right here are customizable for this, this left margin. The one thing I said I forgot to show y'all was this little middle button right here. If you need more room on your screen, you can just tap it. 
and it'll open up your charts if you got your charts open up here or obviously where I just left and it's just, it's just this little bitty arrow right there that gives you more screen or allows you for your custom margin to work okay um, one of the other things I discovered is like Chuck was, Chuck was just talking he was talking to a lady today and she showed him this little trick. This is what Delos asked me to find. When you want to split your screen, let's just open this back up to where we just learned. If you want to split your screen, you come up here to this box right here, you just tap it. So you'll have this grid come up, and Delos, not only can you do four, but, man, you can get really busy. Right, right, right. You know, if you want to do six screens, I don't know why in the world. I would be cross-eyed looking at Oh, that's that. amazing. Hey, so what what happens is, G, uh, not meaning to slow you down, but good. you 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 got you got some options traders, they look at every stock on their watch list in front of them at all times. Mm -hmm. That's that's why. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Okay. Um and I'm no, still, this, is, this, is, this is good stuff. I'm still trying to figure out um, which, which studies am I going to really go with. Obviously, the ones that we learned on, the, um, the, RS, the RSI and the, um, the, the um, simple moving average is definitely in my, in my wheelhouse. But there's another one. <clears throat> uh, what's the other one, Delos? It starts with an S. And I was trying to figure out, is that... Because it looks like it looks like the RSI, and I was wondering if that lady, uh, Parmesha, that's the lady you sent me. Mm -hmm. she is that the simple? Is that the simple moving average? No, it's not the simple moving. It's the um, I'm gonna pull it up once we get into another conversation. I'll have should should have had it prepared. I'm sorry, but I've been running up until the meeting. Um, but I'll find it. And, and, but what I'm saying, it looked because she had like a she had a seventy on it and a thirty. And I'm like, why are you calling it that? But she was referencing her RSI, and then she go back to that little elongated chart that looked like an RSI, and she was talking about that too. So uh, she said she used all of those resources to kind of um, mm. know when she wanted to put, where she wanted to put her strike, and when she wanted to put her strike. Okay, I think you're talking about a, it's, it's, it's an oscillator. I think stellatic, stoletic, or something it's, oscillator. Yeah, that one. That okay. One. Yeah. Um, okay. Stole, but the, the stolet is it a stoletic stole, os oscillator? Yeah, I think that was with yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Now is that is that the, that's not the same as that's not the same as this RSI, correct? Uh, I don't think so. I I would have to look that up, G. Yeah, I'm I don't. Up right I don't, now, so I'm yeah, going to studies. And yeah, I don't think I don't think it is. I think because I think there's a couple of oscillators. It's sort of like RSI, but uh, I think it's a couple of them. Yeah, I don't think they're the same. They they, no. they may they may give you some of the the same information, but mm -hmm. I don't I don't think they're they 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 look at the same. I don't know. I know they're not the same though. Yeah. Okay. Hey, I got a question, Delos. You know, um, on the call last night on the WebEx, the guy was talking about how they use the delta mm -hmm. in between the 30, negative 30 and 40. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But I put the delta on my on, on this uh, think or swim. And what do you think about the delta knowing like if it's, you know, mm -hmm. minus 10 or minus 12, you know, wherever we putting our strike points as well. Does that give is that a good for you as well? Uh yeah, Ger Gerald and I talked about that today a little bit. Um like it, it depends on how volatile the stock is, cause cause uh you know, Boeing, like okay, let me give you an example. Uh Twillo, uh TTD, uh Apple, uh, not Apple, uh, uh Facebook last week and Wayfair last week. Though they blew them deltas out the water. Like the if anybody anybody was sitting there thinking that the stock wasn't gonna get put to them on the on the call side, got blew out the water mm -hmm. because the stock moved up thirty four dollars. Like you, and like he said, he can't predict it. But it, it's a, 
it's a good I guess it's a good way to help you make a decision. So like what what uh what Gerald and I discussed is so your fundamental analysis it helps you pick the right company. Mm-hmm. Your technical analysis mm-hmm. helps you pick your entry point. Your your delta once you've done both of those and you're ready to go in, that's when we uh, start talking about, hey, we go $5 back. You know, yesterday, too, he was kind of close to the money on everything. I, I don't know what, yeah. what yeah. that was all about. Yeah, but, was, but he was going long, too. He was going out long, like 30 yeah, plus 30 days. days. Yeah, yeah. So, so, and I tell you, a lot of people learn that way. Uh, be, before, before the SIBO start having weeklies, there, there was nothing but monthlies. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people learn that, and that's what they stick with. But, mm-hmm. I mean, when they came out with weeklies and the premiums matched what the monthlies were or close to it, it, it didn't make sense to do a monthly anymore because your your, your risk of success uh, was, widening, was widened by the fact that time decay was now 30 days instead of seven. You know what I mean? Instead of five. Mm-hmm. So... Um, you can use the delta, but but just write this down. Fundamental analysis tips you pick the company that you the right company, the liquid company that he talked about yesterday. Mm-hmm. The volatility of, of the company that's liquid. Your technical analysis is gonna help you pick your entry point, and you can use that delta as a way to go, should I go here or go there? But I've also showed you all a few weeks ago if if the if the if the, for instance, if the 20 strike was paying 150 and the 19 strike was paying 149, then why would you take the 19 strike? You, you want to, you can, you can, you might as well grab the 150 instead of the 149 because there's not enough, there's not a, there's not enough difference in premium there. So you can use all of it though. I mean, that was a great point he made. Um, we can all take, take some from that. But I would just say, don't let the delta be your only indicator when you picking a a a, a price. Kind of, right. kind of, you know, follow. You know, you you've been a student of the stock. You kind of know, hey, it can move nine to ten dollars. Then that delta just goes right out the window. Right now, <clears throat> could you say that again? The fundamental analysis helps you fix your company. And the technical the analysis, fundamental analysis helps, helps you pick your entry and exit points. You, you notice down the screen, he kept showing that little V. I was, I showed you all that last about, I think last month. I can, I called it a fish hook. He just showed it to you as a little V, right? That little bounce. Yeah. I right. showed it. I showed it to everybody as a fish hook. Mm-hmm. So, basically, that he's using that as his entry point to enter into the market knowing that the stock is going to move away from them. Okay. We, and then the technical? Have, the te- that's, the, that's your technical, that's part of your technical analysis there. Because it, it helps you, it helps you enter the market. It helps you, it helps you make a decision on entering into the market. Okay. Your fundamental right. analysis is, your fundamental analysis is when you check in you know, percentage of institutions, uh, market cap, uh, what type of products they sell, earnings reports, all of that kind of stuff is is is, is your fundamental analysis. Your right, and that helps you. That helps you pick your company, right? Correct. Okay, and the technical is your entry and exit point. Okay. Correct. And uh, <clears throat> and you, and your and that and 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 uh. And, and everything that uh, Gerald, all, all of Gerald uh, upper and lower indicators that he is about to put on, on the screen, those, those all help you uh, with your, that's, those all help you with your entry point as well. The Delta, the RSI, all that stuff helps you enter the market. Like you, you got all of that stuff and you, and you make a good decision, uh, you should be able to sleep easy at night. Right, and here's, here's one more for you that I almost forgot. This this right here can be customized on your on your <laughs> platform. It's uh, the probability of outside the money. Mm-hmm. And it's gonna help you 
wherever you, whenever you do your fundamental analysis and you think you want to be five away from the strike, let's say you want to be at the 123, you can come over here and it's going to tell you that has a probability of being 82% of landing out of the money. So you want to customize your computer to give you just another source to make you feel comfortable when you uh, when you land on your strike. And if you up here, if you close, then you saying, okay, I want to be right here, seventy-five point nine percent. I'm okay with that. I'm willing to take that risk based on everything else that you've done, checking all those boxes that we learned. It's just another little indicator that you can put over here. And the way that you get it is, and I put the delta over here too. The way you get it is you open this up. You come down to your, your, um, your Greeks. You come over here, and it's down here. So you can see in the money, probability of touching and probability of OTM. And I put it right there. Yeah. You really don't need both the delta and that, do you? Well, yeah, it's just depending on it's you, you customize it, whatever. So yeah. you, I mean, they're basically you, telling you the same thing. Yeah. So over here, what do you think is more useful? We got to put something over here. And it's just it's whatever you feel. You got options. So that's just something you can play around with on your own time. Uh, if we go back to the charts, how are we looking? Is everybody is everybody set up their SMAs with this? Oh, you know, it's one other thing I want to show you. Many times, you see my chart looks a little bit different. I've got it to where my volume is not a separate. The volume used to be in between the RSI and the and the SMA. You can make your volume bleed up into here because they all coincide. If you see my, my crosshairs and my pointer, it goes all the way up and down the screen. So your, your volume bleed into your SMA. And the way that you would do that is you would come to the, how did I do that? <laughs> is, the, is the blue your volume? Uh, is the blue your volume? Yeah, the blue is the volume. Okay. If you remember, the blue had its own little its own little chart down here, and it was in between the RSI and the SMA. Yeah. I don't want that. It's a little bit more confusing and it's easier on the eye. So the way you do this is you hit the sprocket right there, and you come down here simply to overlap volume. This is how you can look. Mm -hmm. Remember that. Yeah, that's how you do it. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily care for that if I can change it. And the way you change it is just hit the sprocket and you go down here to overlap. It's a much better, it's, it's more aesthetically pleasing and I can see things better. It bleeds up into the consistency of the SMA. Mm -hmm. okay. It's of course your preference. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think that's all I had on this, man. Um, I wanted to. I, I, oh, I wanted to say, is everybody okay with setting up the SMA over here? Because it's very basic over here as well. I know we got them on our phones. Uh, Nisha, Nisha likes the uh, the TD Ameritrade platform on her computer, and um, I, I like the phone because I can do the RS, RSI and the um, the simple moving average, and that's what I have in my hand eighty percent of the time. I'm learning this because, you know, obviously you got a bigger screen, you got more things to play. And um, so when I'm at home, I'm either on this or the TD Ameritrade. But uh, to me, I didn't know if you dove in here and I think I set up with me and Chuck set this up for his. But this is real simple. And even if you don't have yours open, I can talk you through it right quick. Can you help me? Sure. So right here, you would go to, it's always- you know, Y'all live together. Huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <Y 'all live together. laughs> we, can, we can do it afterwards. 
No, I'm just messing with you. Go ahead, because right. some people might I not. Know Dennis, I didn't know if Dennis had looked at it. You know, I'm just talking to it anyway. Uh, but it's good to have it on tape, too. So you just go to study, mm -hmm. and you come down to edit studies. And the same way that you set up, you would come over to the field and begin to type simple. And then a simple comes up. You double click it, that blue, and it will it'll land right here, over here. And then mm -hmm. once it lands here, you click your sprocket. And you want this in 20, this is the 20 day. Most people come down here after they do that, and they have this line, a solid line. I don't know why you would want any of these broken lines. So most people go with a solid line indicating, and then obviously you'll lock in on your color. Once you got all of that, these three are checked uh, by default. That one up there is checked by default. You would come down here and hit OK. Hmm. If you look at mine, that shows this, this, um, yellow, this green line right there. And you do the same thing for the, um, I think you can, you can edit it right from here. If you click on the line or you double click your screen, you can come in here and edit it. This second one would be the uh, the 200. Let me go back because I, I taught you one way I want to show, I want to continue. So you would hit study, edit. You would type in here simple again, simple move, moving averages until it comes up. You would click on this again and it would land right here this time. This is going to be your bottom line. And once you hit the sprocket, you want to only change, you want to make it 200. So that first one you did 20, the second one you would do 200. And again, you want the solid line and now you pick a different color. Got it. Okay. You press okay. And then you would come up here and now you would be pressing, I mean, you'd be typing RSI. Because if you look up here, we've got these two simple moves, the 20 and the 200 that we just did. And mm -hmm. now we're doing the, the lower RSI. The volume is, is there going to be there by default. Don't worry about volume. You can bleed it and blend it in like we showed you, or you can leave it in a separate chart. It will split the two. So <laughs> instead, of, instead of two, can you put in three? Because I like to look at the 2050 and the 200. Absolutely. Okay. You would just, I haven't done it, but you would come up here and you would click another, you type in a simple again. And you come do another. You want three lines up here. Okay. And for three, yeah. There go the third one. Okay. Okay. And then okay. I will come in here and I would be, yeah. uh, you know, customize. I don't okay. want the third one. So, yeah. It's out of here. Yeah. I like the 2050 and 200 on mine. Yeah. Okay. So, why did you do the length of 10 for the. Tony. That's the number of days. Why did you What's do. That? Okay, the length of 10 for the number of the days as opposed to the 14 because you all are doing the weekly trades. No, no, now, now, now with the RSI, I like to come in here and put this on 10 because we trade five days a week. Okay. The default is 14. I move that to 10. Mm -hmm. That's just me. That's just me. Mm -hmm. also, me too. Also, what I found, and now once you get all that done, you click OK, and obviously you would, you would, um, well, you know what? Let's talk about it real quick. Um, same thing. You want solid line, <laughs> and you want to pick your color, okay? And you'll see how these colors they bleed out over the top. And you saw Della go over that other video about you know oversold and overbought. Mm -hmm. You just apply it and then mm -hmm. OK it. And there we go. We're back. So that's just, that's just kind of a quick lesson. It, it's all just on doing it from a study. Studies edit. Okay. It's, it's so much in here, man. Like Delo said, it's, it's a lot of resources in here. But you can you can get a little gaudy. Depends on, you know, I like my eyes kind of focused on certain things. And I don't want to overcomplicate things. So I don't know if I'm going to do too much more than what you see on the screen. I don't know. As I learned other, um, like the like the lady Parmesha sent, and I sent you guys that video, and say check her channel out. Um, I didn't tell you Parmesha, but I do like I like her. I like her page. Yeah. It's simple. Oh yeah. 
I've yeah. seen a couple of her videos. Yeah, she's really good. Yeah, hey. she's doing some videos. She's got a strategy in there uh, where she, she does earnest day trading, mm -hmm. earnest, earnest reports. And she has a strategy. Mm -hmm. The way you find it is you go uh, to her channel and go to the playlist. And she has earnest trades where she takes advantage hey, of the earnest reports. And hey, Gerald. Yeah. So, so everybody can see that. Do you mind going to it right now to show everybody how to get to her channel? I keep forgetting, brother, that I got the power. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I got the power. Now, it's tough for me to um, do two things at once, so I'm going to try. Me should be laughing. You know, when you get our age, man, it'd be like, okay, don't talk to me. Turn the radio down so I can drive. I can't see you. <laughs> hey, hey. No age jokes, okay? No age jokes. <laughs> So y'all can y'all can conversate amongst yourself. That's what I was gonna do, Jeanette. I got I got YouTube accounts, and um, sometimes I can't get to the other. Oh, here we go. Let's do this. Right. So, which one is on the DJ today? Wait a minute. Where did you send that? I had a question. What did I say today? Oh, I don't know. I say it. Misha, you, you say you had a question. I did, but okay. My question is in regards to like I I've been trying to follow overall for choosing out my stocks overall, and I I utilized um, like the Kahol that the guy was talking about yesterday. I've actually huh? added that. I don't know if that's something that y'all had to talk about also. But one of my stocks that I found is an ETF, and I was asking like it has the options for it has yeah. option trading. Is that something that we would want to do? And then what's also the uh, NS, the, uh, what are they called? The non-standardized options. Yeah, so uh, I, I may have to cover that on, uh, what's today, on, on Tuesday, mm -hmm. uh, only because Gerald asked that question too. And, and typically e, e, ETFs encompass more than a one. bunch a bunch mm -hmm. of stocks right not just one individual company right uh so we can we can dive we can do a deep dive into etfs on on tuesday if you like but but to answer your question uh you can you can utilize that as a, as 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 a as part of your investing uh portfolio to mm -hmm. to do etfs uh some people some people like um uh, um uh, you know, the Russ 2000 and the S&P, it just costs so much that people with only with big money play in it. And that's part of why uh, smaller accounts really don't have a lot of ETFs. But if you find one you like, mm -hmm. uh, just do your fundamental analysis on it. Matter of fact, throw it out, throw it out in the text to the team. That way you can get everybody eyes on it. And then uh, we can we can kind of talk about that particular ETF on Tuesday as well. Okay. Yeah, but that that's the only reason why a lot of people, I mean, some big account managers, fund account managers, they they play around in the ETFs because they they can afford them. Like the S and P five hundred, I, I I don't know, I know it's high, I know it's high as a kite. Yeah, the S and P five hundred is ridiculous, but I did find I found two actually. Yeah, what I was gonna what I was gonna do is uh I was gonna have everybody look at the VIX. Get get yourself familiar with the VIX. That's what I was gonna cover next. Okay. I've been seeing them VIX. It's the VI VIX. Actually, it's the volatile index. It's mm -hmm. uh it's the SIBO. It's the SIBO volatile index. Basically, I was gonna cover that as something to add to your technical analysis because when uh when the when the when the VIX is down, the market is up. When the VIX is up. It's the volatile uh, index, basically, for the SIBO. Got it. But, hey, Joe, actually, Joe, if you got the screen up, can you can you throw VIX in one of the boxes and let everybody see the premiums? You got to do friendly. one thing at a time. Okay. I forgot. I ain't going to talk to you, Joe. 
Uh, you, you say a resume shirt. Can y'all see my screen? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can see your screen. You got to share the new screen if you got it up. Oh, yeah. Now what, Joe? And that's telling me one thing, and then she said, I didn't tell you that. Oh, quite me, she, that's a good question. Oh. Thank you. That? I'm trying to learn. Y'all see that? Oh, you, oh yeah. You gonna be in yeah, there. We, we can see it, yeah. So this lady hey, right here. Mm -hmm. I can't tell what's good and what's, what's This lady right here is the lady Parmesha turned me on to. And um, as I looked around her channel, I did subscribe. And as I looked around her channel, I began to see that I like I like the way she navigates and I like I like her style. Yeah. So I just come to the playlist, and um, you can kind of look for yourself and see what she has here for you. Um, and and then there's quite a few videos inside of some of these. So like, um, what is that one that I'm gonna get into? It's uh, option lessons. So she can take you from option lessons from beginners, and there's 74 videos in there, bro. Yeah, I saw it's like two of them. But again, now hey, this so is like, yeah. I was gonna ask, I was gonna ask that that you all kind of follow this this lady here, and uh, 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 Mr. Follett uh, got that information that he put up yesterday. Mm -hmm. Did anybody go in and and uh, and subscribe the to? The uh, the gentleman that gave the uh, presentation last night. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The TD, TD Ameritrade stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was just making sure because th mm -hmm. those are good, solid videos that, like he said, nobody wants to watch an hour video on how to sell a put option. I mean, it ain't that difficult. Right. I was I was looking for the tidbits he was talking about. Yeah, I was looking for that video on tidbits. Yeah. I I that that was those are years of my life. I never got back to. I thought it was going to be something. <laughs> at the end of the reading rainbow i'm like i could have just watched a five minute video got got straight to the point you know mm -hmm. they go a little faster but if you're already aware of what's going on you don't have to you know you don't have to start the class all over again you just get your little tidbits and, and mm -hmm. move on to the next thing you know you know how to apply you already know how to apply certain things and certain strategies and what to look at mm -hmm. uh, but that was a, a a good class yesterday but what gerald got up right now uh, is, is good along with what uh, Mr. Follett had on the screen yesterday too. Those are good good sources of information. Yeah, it's well, it's just like you said, man. It's it's simple. This small snap, snap shots. Um, I'm better when it's not a long deal. You know, these are 12 to 15 minute videos. I'm I'm seeing why that's how she does it. So that's more appealing to me. There's so many little rabbit holes we can go down with this stuff. You know, resources are abundance out there. Yeah. Um, even the platform, as we know, the education and the um, mm -hmm. learn the learn center or whatever, you go down, you go over there. And um, matter of fact, I'll show you guys right quick. I think we did it last time, but just the education. Y'all see my screen? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. The education yeah. and then the um let me move this down the way. It's supposed to be a learn the learning center, okay. This is on your left. There we go. This other one then. Let me click out of here. In the gray on your left. Okay, there we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, wait, wait. So you hover over it. And instead of clicking education, click learning center or, or the other one. I have to see when it comes up. So this learning center is really good. The one that has the star, this is the one that basically go went over everything that I showed you all with the, um, with the platform. This one over here, this portfolio, um, no, that's not it. That, that wasn't the one. It's another one in here. Where'd it go? They must have changed it. It was uh, it was a customizable one on here. And I, I got halfway through that one. My point is, it's just so much stuff um, between YouTube and these, these platforms. We have no shortage for information, that's for sure. Yep, that's true. 
All right, uh, Delos, where'd you say go? The VIX? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, the VIX, yeah. Is it VIX.com or you want me to go to an option? Uh, no, put it put it in the uh, ticker symbol, V-I-X. Oh, okay. Oh, and then I just want to challenge everybody from now until the next time I talk to you to go to go figure out what the VIX is. Um, it's a, I wasn't hiding it from you guys, but at the time that the market kind of crashed, it kind of didn't make sense to talk about it because we were already talking about volatility and why premiums was the, the way they were. But the VIX, you can sell options against against the VIX as well. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, Drill, I'll wait till you pull it up. I, I forgot what the price was. I looked at it earlier. 31.44. 3144 there you go yeah. so anybody uh so so for 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 the for the uh, the other meeting Gerald, you and chuck and uh tony mm -hmm. uh having on monday anybody with small accounts uh they can kind of uh get get their feet wet there in the vix uh the vix the vix is uh it's kind of it's pretty harmless it's not going anywhere i mean the sibo uh runs that so it's it's not going anywhere it's, it's uh it just it just tracks the volatility of the market, but I also want I also want to challenge everybody to kind of use the VIX indicator along with the options trade to add to your RSI and your uh, moving averages. It's just one more thing to have up just to take a look at it. Yeah. But if you got it up, G. Uh, if you can kind of talk through the premiums, I can't see it, but I mean, I can okay. see the screen, but I can't dial in specifically to the right, numbers, right. But go to May 13th, uh, you huh? Expiration May 13th, and and this is another thing they have Wednesday and Friday expirations too, so you can actually do two options a week. Mm. Ex you, you can have two options a week that expire worthless, mm. is that right? Hmm. Well, okay, just to talk you through it, Delos, we're looking at, uh, it's trading at 31.44. Okay. And um, one, two, three, um, right outside of the money at 27 is, uh, is 10 cent. Well, that's that's because it's this week. We 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 shouldn't look at this week, saying that's that tomorrow. That's why I had it up next week, Chuck. Yeah, go to next week. This week is done. It ain't gonna. It ain't gonna be anything. Thirteenth. Am I on the thirteenth? Yeah. yeah, that's the thirteenth. Yeah, that's the thirteenth. Yeah. Okay, I am on the thirteenth, bro. The thirteenth, huh? Is it? It's only ten cent. Yeah. Yeah. For now, I'm on the twentieth. Hang on. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. That's the thirteenth. Oh, okay. Thirteenth. That's twenty twenty. That's the year twenty twenty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's the 13th, yeah. I'm right. I'm like, okay, I'm doing it. I know I'm right, but I'm going to do it. Sorry. What's the, what's the, is that, so it's 10 cent, is it, is that a dollar out the, a dollar, uh, a dollar at the money, $2 at the money, $3, I mean, how far back from 31 is that number? Yeah, um, 75 near the cents. Money, near the money is 75 cents, 35, and 25 yeah, so so for for seventy five cents, um, th those are those are not bad for somebody that's got twenty nine hundred dollars or twenty eight hundred dollars or whatever the the uh, compa the number is. So the strike, the strike along with the premium. I mean, I to me, if if I'm just getting in, it's a good starting point, and it it, it and it also help you learn, uh, the the uh, you know, the RSI and all of that. The comparison for for the VIX, it's just a good safe. It's a good safe place to go be. If you look at the 52 week, the, can you see the 52 week high for the VIX? Um, let's find out where it is. Now this is not a stock. This is just an index. Index, okay. So this is so you just betting on the index to be around. What you, what you doing? Yeah, yeah. The the index is how, but the index is how. Like we talk about derivatives mm -hmm. or algorithms, the the VIX is how they get. I I want to say RSI and it's another it's another one, but 
the VIX, the VIX is how they derive it, some of the other stuff that you already got in your technical analysis. Okay. 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 Yeah, um, I just I just couldn't throw that out there in the middle of y'all learning stock individual stocks, right? It just yeah. it's just one more thing to add as we go. We start talking about it a little more. We incorporate it a little more. Mm -hmm. You know, and you and you put it in your uh, put it in your technical analysis bucket. Cause you because yeah. you want you want to look at the VIX because the VIX is gonna tell you how volatile the overall market is, right? I got so you. As you start, as you as you all start learning about it, matter of fact, I was gonna challenge, you know, you all to go to that TD Ameritrade site that the uh, Mr. Follett gave yesterday, and the one that uh, Carmisha sent uh, the young lady videos that you had up just a minute ago. See if you can go find find either at either e either sources a VIX video. Yeah, the fifty two week high was. 85.47. Right. And, and and the VIX is good to play around with with small accounts. And just last week when I told everybody, you know, always just know where to go, build yourself back up. So if, you know, as these stocks start taking back off, all the ones that fell, even the uh, teacher last night referenced, these stocks are at a discount due to the COVID-19. So you get comfortable playing around with Roku and comfortable comfortable playing around with Boeing and Wayfair. And as you can see, Wayfair has left the station. Mm. Boeing is going to leave the station. Twilo is going to leave the station. Apple will leave the station. So you, you need to know, hey, I can build a premium using a VIX. I can build a premium using, at this point in time, Royal Caribbean and things of that nature. So just just know how to, you know, it's a long fight, right? So it's a long fight. So you you at some point you you're not gonna be able to throw these big wheels of a punch. You got a box, and this is how you box. So you're gonna take your little shots here and there, and then you you when the when the the, the VIX will tell you how volatile the market is, then you can just start welling on some folks, but. It, as, as time progressed, you know, you'll start getting better at, uh, you'll start getting better at knowing where to go. And Gerald, you, you just built a, you just built a nice little, uh, uh, combination of a, of a premium yourself, uh, not too long ago, right? Correct. And I just pulled up what Chuck texted today on the thread. He said Uber was another builder. And I, and I looked at it at the time and I'm in here now, this is Uber, but yeah, we did, um, we had, we had about nine, what do we have, about 9,000 or so? We had about $10,000 <clears> yesterday, and I'm like, man, if we can find a, a nice little play, a nice little something to grab another hundred plus dollars for this week. I needed it to expire, I needed it to expire this week on the 8th. Everything we looked at was, you know, for the money, you know, Forty dollars, sixty dollars. You already, you already. Uh, or, or we didn't have enough. They wanted eleven thousand or eleven five. So, we went to the, some of the um, the old truth, and we looked at um, RCL. And uh, Jeanette said, "Look, look at that. That um, it was thirty three strike, and the thirty three strike was giving us like forty four dollars. So we said, let's do three of these." 33 strikes. So we did exactly what uh, Delos said. We built us a nice little premium. It was roughly like $136 or so. It expires. It expires tomorrow. And we grabbed it. We had a comfortable strike. You look at RCL. It's trading um, higher than that. And we're going to be fine tomorrow for the expiration. But like Chuck checked this over today. Chuck, you can talk about how you, because I've, I've looked at Uber before, but I took it off my list for some reason. Yeah, I, I just heard him talking on CNBC about Zillow. I mean, not Zillow, but uh, Uber. 
And also Zillow is another good one, man, where you might be able to uh, build something in too. The, the symbol for Zillow is Z. Um, but with, with, with the Uber, I was just looking at building it. I might come in tomorrow. Which which one is this? I just go to go to um yeah, I might come in on there here tomorrow and just do a May 15th strike for like what was it, 20, 27, I think it was. 27, I was gonna come in at 73. Hey, even though the numbers are gonna be different. Did they need the card or they and do three the contracts and I'll make like a hundred and uh, are you what? okay, okay. One, yeah. one, uh, no, two something. Oh, no, I was thinking going back to 26. I'm sorry. If I go down to 26 and do three contracts, that'll come up to like 171, something like that. Yeah, for $2,600 times three. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you say the other one we can look at was Z? Yeah, Z for Zillow. Anybody and I'll, be adding, I'll be adding both of these. I'll be adding both of these to my uh, watch list. Zillow Group, is that it? Yeah. No, Z, just Z. Go up. Zillow Group Inc. Come on down. Just Z by itself. Hey, Third one the from the bottom. Fourth one from the bottom. There yeah. you go. Is, is that the real estate app? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. They were talking about them today on Z and uh, on Z. Oh, uh, CNBC. Okay. Anybody, anybody checked out Priceline and uh, Expedia? They, they all were hit by the uh, COVID too. Nobody was booking anything through those guys. Yeah, look at these. Um, yeah, Chuck. Mm -hmm. Zillow. I had never thought about looking at Zillow. Um, you would think that they may have taken a hit too, because you know. The, the uh, housing industry is taking a hit. Um, yeah. They're doing virtual tours and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah, I did see that they added those virtual tours to everything. Yeah. Hey, so, hey, hey, hey uh, Gerald, rattle off some of the premiums for, for Zillow. Zillow's <laughs> trading right now at 48, mm. 48.56. All right, give me a, what's the $45, $44 premium price? $1.70. Not bad. Not bad. Mm. Not bad, bro. Not bad at all. Not and bad at all. Let's just look. Let's just look. That's 44 Now, they've got half prices in here, so they go from 44 to 44.5 to 45 Let's look at... um. The forty-three point five is one forty. The forty-two point five is one forty-five. Yeah, I'd come in at like I'd come in at like forty-two. Forty-two, 42. is one twenty-five, or I'd come in at forty-one. Mm -hmm. Let's look at a chart with uh, Zillow. What they say in the delta? Let me see the delta over there. What they say in the delta? I'm trying to see. Hang on. At forty-one. Hey, look at y'all talking. They all sound like y'all know what y'all doing. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, uh, check, check this in. Let me see what the delta is. <laughs> so, you're looking at that 40, mm -hmm. that 43 strike is roughly 69% that you'll be out of the money by the time the 15th come around. But let's see how volatile this is because remember what Delos told us about. These half numbers. Right? But you know what, Dallas? I've seen it both ways. I've seen numbers jump by five, and I've seen numbers jump by half. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, like stocks that, stocks that move a lot, like a Tesla, a Tesla won't be uh, 790, 789, 787. Tesla gonna be 790, 780, 770, 760. You know, stocks that jump a lot, the numbers they 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 can't they can't get it all on one chart. So they just you you got to do it in increments of five. That's just how much it trade and move. Let's look at Zoom. Let's look at um, Zillow's chart. 
And I like when I see those little half numbers because that that tells you the opposite. It don't, it don't you don't yeah it don't have those big spurts. They it it's so it's so it moves so slow. They gotta they gotta try to catch you. They gotta try to catch you in a half of a number. Okay, this is a five day chart of Zillow. Zillow. Yeah, this is uh, a five day chart of Zillow. The R size it. Okay. Is About it sixty. Over is it is it uh oh sixty okay. A little less than sixty right now. Okay. Fifty five. Fifty five. So okay. Yeah. Who's gonna hey, look at what, like Wednesday? What is the uh, what's the fifty two what's the fifty two week high on that drill? On Zillow. He can't see it. Let me see it. I can tell, pull it up. This, yeah, this is just Wednesday and Thursday that I pulled 66, up. 66, 68. 66, 68 is uh, 52 high. Gotcha. Okay. Not a bad find, man. Not a bad find. Go back. So, moving this stuff out the way. So, it's, um, what day was it? So this day right here, I can't see what day that is. Oh, that's that's uh, Friday of last week right here. This is Friday. This is Monday, Tuesday. Okay. Uh, Look at the bottom of the screen. Wednesday. This is Wednesday. Wednesday, yep. Yeah. These dark shaded areas are the, uh, the action of the day, opening to closing bell. And then you've got the after markets are in gray. And then you got the opening of another day, which is the opening of Wednesday. If you look at the very bottom of the screen, you got your volume mixed in there because we bled it in there. Uh, then you got closing, and then, and then this is um, this is Thursday. That's so good stuff see, right there, G. Yeah, so right you up. can see mm -hmm. the last five days we've been we've been as low as. 42 and as high as uh, low as 40 4081 oh my bad is that it right there yep it's already marked and the high is 51 70 in five days okay that's right they do that already i forgot where it's at it's up there somewhere anyway. it's over to the right top right there you go that's right they they put the little pin okay good yeah yeah and you see what they're doing for us right here? These little these little red and blue blimps. They they letting you know. Tony, they had an earnest. They Tony, had an earnest. Gonna speak up on you on here, Tony. Yeah, I see. Yeah. They letting you know. Earnest, earnest yeah. call and uh, the call, the conference and the uh, earnings meeting. Mm -hmm. yeah. So can we look at another one only because I can't see it overall for like the five or can you show me how did you do the five day? Up top, you can come into uh, right here. Mm -hmm. This this uh, little time frame. If you open it up, you can you can do the ones that are defaulted right there, or you can you can go over to the custom. I have to move that out the way. You can do a time frame. You can custom what you want your own self. So if you want a five day, or if you want a ten day, twenty day, and you just do everything as as we did on the other. You hit the OK, and you just lock in your aggregation period, et cetera. The intraday, daily, custom. All of this is um, totally customizable. If you find some, these are the favorites over here. And they they do me just fine, because I'm, I'm usually pulling out either a year, mm -hmm. usually 10 days, or five days, or that one day. Now, the one day. I just tell you guys, this is the one day screen of the, the Zillow. But the one thing that you have to be mindful of is this RSI chart. This RSI chart is moving pretty much in real time. So if you take if you take opening, this is all today. So right here, the whole thing. Um, Okay. I'm sitting there. I'm sitting there like, oh, the link stink. 
Why are you saying eight thirty seven over here instead of nine o'clock? Okay, okay, this is what they did. But we got volume. Am I on a one day? It's a two day, I think. I think you're on a two day. I'm on a two day. Okay, I'm about to stay. Yeah. No, it's one day. It was one day, one day. Okay, yeah, it's showing Thursday to the right there at the bottom. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. Okay. Well, I guess that's 930. Yeah. Okay. That's, I mean, pre market overall for it, possibly. Let's do it. I can still, I can still make my point. Yeah, showing Thursday at the bottom at, uh, mm -hmm. I guess that would be about 930. Let's go back and then we'll go back. There's the five. Mm -hmm. But yeah, just up here, Misha, where the number is, yep. open that up. And um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Okay. okay, I don't know why that's doing that. Okay, but anyway, my point is, is that if you're in the one day, mm -hmm. you want to be mindful of this RSI because it's not going to be moving. And if it, if it breaks this resistance right here at 70, what we know is it's coming back down. But you can almost pretty much watch it and watch it real time here. It ain't going to take long to come down on you right here. If you zooming in that far, you're going to get real, almost real-time results. Now, if you pull back and you say, well, I want to take a real far glance. I want to have my gander from way back here. What's been happening in a year? So if you're dealing from a year standpoint and you see this resistance right here where it broke through, don't be thinking that you're going to watch it come right back down on your head. It's not going to happen that fast. Okay? Because it, it broke. Uh, double click will always get you back out, guys. If you double click. Or you can come down here to this magnifying glass and zoom out. But if you, if you zoom in by dragging, if you got an area you want to drag to zoom up close, and you say, oh, that's enough of that, get back. You just double click. But my point is, once it breaks through right here and you pull back from like a year or, you know, even, you know, 10 days, it's just not going to be moving back as if you're looking at a one day, one minute pip. You follow me? These pips are a lot longer than <laughs> one minute. So you, you can say, well, I know. And that's what that that's what the lady Lily was saying, Carmisha, that you sent. Mm -hmm. she, she pulls back from a, to a year. And then once you see it breaks this bottom resistance, mm -hmm. where, where it's been over, what is this, over, over bought? Yeah. When over she so, over right here, I get them mixed up. I the oversold, yeah. That's oversold. Okay. Mm -hmm. Once she sees it breaks this mm -hmm. resistance oversold, then she's, she's going in and setting her strike to me. Because she knows now when that, when that stock goes away, your premiums are going to be better. So she's waiting on it to run because it's been it's it's about to go away from her. Mm -hmm. Got it. And 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 that's not that's just something that I'm I'm still playing around with. You know, I look at it, but um, I'm using all of my fundamental analysis to look at my strike points and where I want to land. This is something that I'm gonna add to it and see you know how accurate it is. Over time. I mean, but you can look at it and see how many days it was up underneath. It went from like, move your, move your, move your mouse over to the right, Gerald. To the right, go to the blue mark where it just hit, where it just broke. Mm -hmm. So from three nine, go back to three nine, three nine, all the way over to sixteen. Keep going over right mm -hmm. to the, about the twentieth, twenty third. You see how long that took. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm sorry, I said it wrong. This this right here is where she enters the market with her strike, not here. Yeah. Right here, yeah. you got a good you you got a good um, predicament per mm -hmm. se of saying it's gonna be it's gonna be trending up. And look how long it trended up from 3:23 to April to 20 today. Yeah. No, to April something. Now keep in mind that's the year. That's 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 you're looking at it from a year standpoint. Mm -hmm. So you see how long it took to respond. So as you walk that back 
towards all the way back towards five days, 10 days, one day, it's all relative. It's going to be moving a lot faster. <laughs> and if you're watching it from a one day perspective, each tick is moving in real time. So I don't, I, I, I kind of get a whole uh, holistic view. I don't, I don't lock in on one. And many times I do pull back to 10. I find myself on 10 and five a lot, but I will check that one as well. What's up, man? All right. I want to ask y'all, Chuck, do you know where where can I go to find what the market did today? Is there a synopsis of the market? You like you can see the bar uh, chart. Huh? Bar chart. Bar chart. That there's something that I sent you guys last week that we didn't get to. Um, let me see. If I remember, I had it in my in my other. One. I want I want to talk about this real quick, and I'm sure y'all can help me real quick. Yeah. Um, Just, uh, Let me pull up this other uh, Gmail account. I mailed it to myself last week. I can find it. We get so much mail in there. I may just disregard it. Y'all got anything, Chuck? Tony? What's that? I say, y'all got anything? Pressing? No, I don't have anything. I'm good, G. Good job, Joe. Yeah. Okay. Well, good, good, good man. Good. This is uh, we. It's exciting, John. And we just we just scratching the surface. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, Missy said. What did Missy say? Y'all want to buy toilet paper? What did Missy say? <laughs> Dollar General. Yeah, it was Dollar General. Yeah. The toilet paper. She said something about uh, looking up those companies. Yeah, Dollar General. I don't know nothing about them. Did you look them up? No, I didn't. I used to have stock with Donald Dollar General a year back in the day. Yeah, you know, I, I I would like to know how has everybody done this week. Why? So you can tell us what you did. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I, I okay. know what he. I know what he did already. We know what you did. I know what he did. We um. Yeah. We basically, man, we just traded. We've been holding on to um, BA, mm -hmm. and we'll do something tomorrow, I guess, and grab um. It's not going to be what I thought. <laughs> we'll get on the call side. Because yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm going to need them to expire tomorrow, too. But um, up until up until that, we, we're right at our 800. We're at 800 and what, like 56. Okay. And that's just trading um, beyond. That's just trading mm -hmm. the beyond and mm -hmm. um, RCL and just half of the capital that we have moving over there. You know, yeah. Like I say, I made about eleven hundred this week. Uh, and like I said, I rolled out of two, uh, rolled out of two, and uh, and everything. So yeah, so I did pretty good this week. Yeah, you did, brother. That's what's yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. I think you know. I was thinking we all did pretty good, and and we did. I'm I'm just trying to figure out. I, I ended up rolling out of that RCL. <clears throat> um, today. And I was going to roll back in on something, but I didn't. So I just kind of held off and sat back. 
I'm ending up right now about 12, I think about 13, actually. About 13, yeah. Yeah, I'm about a, about a thousand. About a thousand, okay. Yeah, so. Man, y'all bosses, man. Y'all bosses, man. Yeah. Y'all, like, man. It kind of helped, like, say, once rolling out, like, say, I rolled out of two this week, and, like, say, yeah, if, you know, you're going to lose a little bit, and, you know, you're still going to be up, but then if you're getting back, jumping back into something else, you know, picking up another premium, you know. You know, right. that was good. That was helpful to hear them say yesterday, too, that, you know, he said, once you pick up about 80% of your premium, yeah. mm -hmm. you yeah. know, roll on out and see where else you can go. Well, he said some people 50%, you know, they, they, you know, 50%, you know, so yeah. Yeah, it's, it, I think that's a personal deal because the lady that uh, that you sent Misha, she says, mm -hmm. not, she says 95% is when yeah. she rolls out. Mm -hmm. And in one day I heard three different percentages. So yeah. that's, uh, that's subjective to the yeah. 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 The one thing that I want to point out is when last week when we first experienced rolling out of a stock and then getting back in closer to the strike point and um, basically mm -hmm. grabbing two premiums in the same week. Mm -hmm. I asked Delos, I said, man, that was pretty exciting. I said, how often do that happen? And I was waiting on the answer like once every three months, G or whatever. He was like, pretty much every other week or so. <laughs> I'm like, what? Yeah, I, I believe it happens quite a bit. I bet you a lot of people will do. Yeah, I mean, I bet you it happens a, a lot. Yeah, yeah. I'm just I'm I'm listening to all of our experiences. Yeah, these are all situations where we rolled out and were able to grab a second strike point, yeah. a second premium. Yeah. And like I say, this is this week was the first time that I've did it. You know, and I've done two two this week. You know, and it's been profitable. Wow. Know? Yeah. Wow. But like I say, you just have to you just have to do the numbers, you know, whatever you came in with, and then how much you got to pay to get back, you know. And most of the time, you're still going to be up. You're still going to be in the money. Right. So you know, it it makes sense to roll out of it and jump back into something else and get another premium, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's, almost like it's criminal, man. I feel like, damn, it's almost criminal. Yeah. To make so much money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's what the guy said yesterday. You're a money manager. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So basically, it. Well, I think that's it on our end, Delos. We're gonna let you have your vacation and weekend. Uh, you still yeah. on the road, or did you make it in? Uh, He's still on the he road. Just, uh, but no, we we made it in. I'm just about to uh, turn it. We just picked up some food, but I. I was gonna have to get off the phone when I started taking the stuff down the steps. So, oh yeah, yeah. perfect timing, brother. Yeah, yeah. as always, yeah. though, y'all stay blessed, man. And if y'all need something uh, before we meet again, mm -hmm. uh, we always got to uh, put it in the text. All right then. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy yeah. your everybody. Everybody saw the text about the uh, Vegas thing, right? Yeah. 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 So still a go. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Uh, so. You know, hey, that's something you can tell me, Delos. Um, you said that it's probably the hotel is going to be Bally's, and that's where they generally are going to be doing the conference. Uh huh. Okay, because we were looking at what about a, uh, Airbnb? Is it best to uh, stay near the campfire or what? Uh, not not necessarily not necessarily because because uh they don't burn the midnight oil. Somebody. Uh, I think the time is on. I'm not sure if they they out at five or whatever because I know they do a dinner both mm -hmm. nights. But um, you know they they have uh, you could do an Airbnb at the MGM Grand. Uh, the MGM Grand they sold off some some rooms or something that, and they like uh, condos or something at the at the MGM Grand. So you can do an Airbnb, uh, get you a rental car, or you can stay close to the campfire and and uh, look up. Uh, they got, I think they got some rooms there at the uh, MGM Grand under the Airbnb too, or mm -hmm. or you can or you can get a uh, a combination package, uh, flight flight and room combo. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah, flight flight room and car combo. Um, and that that those are no, those are those are pretty fair fairly reasonable too, uh, but Airbnb is a good idea. Yeah. Um. 
Well, I know they have dinner after all after both of the uh, sessions. Um, a lot of people. Uh, may try to stay at Bally's. If you're not staying at Bally's, you know, you just stay across the street somewhere or somewhere a little bit cheaper or yeah. somebody, somewhere a little bit more fancier. But it's going gonna, it's gonna to be an awesome time. Y'all going to run into so many like-minded, mm -hmm. uh, like, like, uh, minded people. Uh, you may even run into like a black, like a black women's options group, like that they, you know, mm -hmm. it's all African-American women or whatever. It, it's so many mm -hmm. facets in the room, like, you know, one of my guys on Wednesday, he's Asian. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're gonna run into all kind of all different kind of people. Mm -hmm. Hear how they got started, what they what their account types are. Uh, I mean, you're gonna hear some pretty amazing stuff. So, okay, cool. Right. Enjoy. Sounds good. Tell Sounds Reed good. to hello. Okay, right. I sure will. All right. Uh, Enjoy yourself. Okay, right, I will chat at you all later. All yeah, right then. Fun. Everybody take hey. care. All right, take later. Care. later. All right. Was I recording on this time? Yeah, you were. Yeah. Okay. Later. All right, later.